Hi everybody, I'm Frank Keating. I used to be governor of Oklahoma some years ago. My wife, Kathy Keating, former first lady of Oklahoma, will join me in a second. But the first book we're going to share together right now is Will Rogers. And I think all of us know what a wonderful leader we had in Will Rogers, an extraordinarily gifted person who in his day was the number one movie actor in the United States, the number one newspaper correspondent, the number one radio correspondent when there was no television and no uh, cell phones. So that was a long time ago, but I want to share with you America's Oklahoma's favorite son, Will Rogers. And this book was published by the Oklahoma Hall of Fame, and we're celebrating Will Rogers today. The book is called Will Rogers, and I'll begin. Will Rogers stood in the center of the stage, twirling a lariat. One day he would travel the world as few men could and return to say, I've never met a man I didn't like. Now, the artwork in this book, everybody, was done by Mike Wimmer, a Cherokee Indian from Oklahoma. And uh, it's just very special art. Will as a boy was called to adventure. The youngest of eight children, he was born in 1879 in Indian Territory. There on the broad back of his father's horse, Lummox, and at his mother's knee, he saw oceans of wheat and dreamed of touching distant skies, and he began to read. To learn is to read, Will Rogers said. Will Rogers was an Oklahoma boy, raised on a ranch, part Cherokee Indian. A member of the Paint Clan, he learned to ride and rope as well as any boy or man. Riding and roping, they said of Will, so that one day he could lasso the tail off a bow fly. And there he is. Apparently a goat got the better of him with his rope sitting in his corral. Will raced across the prairie on his horse Comanche. Lassoing goats and wild turkeys for practice, for adventure. That was what boys did in those days before farmers and barbed wire fence. A man that don't love a horse, there is something the matter with him, Will Rogers believed. And there he is, by the way, giving his horse, uh, Comanche, an apple. Will's lot in life was 10 years or so in school. But travel and reading and poking and probing, those were Will's lifetime school. A man only learns by two things, Will Rogers said. One is reading, and the other is association with smarter people. How very, very true. Will Rogers loved the land, from the sparkling waters of the Verdigree River to the Oklahoma Hills. The land taught him that all men were good, that each had something to say, and that humility and honesty came from a rural life. No man is great if he thinks he is, Will Rogers said. How very wise. Will Rogers flew everywhere he could, always restless. Everyone he met became his friend. Every place he visited broadened his mind. He was always joking and sharing with others the humor and joy of living. I can't tell you where to write, he said, for I don't know where I'll be. And here's a scene from a vaudeville show, and you can see in the opera glasses, Will Rogers swirling a rope, and guess who those two people are? Well, they're paintings of me and of my wife, Kathy Keating, by Mike Wimmer. And we continue. Will always seem to be in motion. Two dozen coast-to-coast -coast flights across the United States. Flights into Russia and across Southeast Asia. Three trips around the world when flight was new. Driven and impatient to go into Seymour, he said, if your time is worth anything, travel by air. If not, you might just as well walk. And there's Will with one of the airplanes he flew in in those days. And there he is with flight goggles and a, a leather a little leather hat. That's the way people 
addressed in those days when they flew. This was in the 1920s, the 1930s. Will returned from his travels to Betty and their four children, Will Jr., Mary, Jimmy, and Fred. They went to California, where Will built a corral on the lot of a movie studio. He wrote, and he played with Betty and th their children. I'm just an old country boy in a big town trying to get along. And there he is with two of his boys on a wooden horse, uh, just playing. I guess he's the cowboy and they're the Indians. And I don't know the name of the dog, but that is a cute little dog. All right. Will was known far and wide. When times were bad, Will Rogers made people hope. When times were good, he made people laugh. He spoke common sense to common people. He spoke to the old common fellow to lift him up, to make a child smile, and to give all the courage to go on. And Will Rogers was really famous during one of the really sad times in American history, the Great Depression back in the 1930s. Will poke fun at the big and the not so big to make a point, to say something true. You can always joke good naturedly with a big man. That's why he's his, he's big. Will said, across the nation, families laughed with him on radio broadcasts, in newspaper columns, and in movies. All I know is what I read in the newspapers. He said, and there he is with President Roosevelt at the Democratic convention in probably 1932, and he also spoke to the Republican convention. You certainly wouldn't see that today but he was loved by everybody from every political party. Will wrote as he spoke, simple and true, thoughtful and wise, life by laughter, common sense from an uncommon, common man. They may call me a rube and a hick, but I would rather be the man who bought the Brooklyn Bridge than the man who sold it. And there he is with his typewriter. Uh, looks like he's ready to get on an airplane in the back here, but he's typing another one of his columns, which he, I'm sure, is prepared every week. Will taught modesty and plain living and said, love and admiration from your fellow man is all that anyone can ask. And there's a sack race, probably in Claremore, um, where he and his, families, uh, his family were living. Will's life was the American dream. He was rich in friendship, fortune, and fame. But he always loved people, all people, with a grin on his face and a smile in his heart. I never met a man I didn't like. And there he is on top of the world twirling his lasso, his rope. That's the story of Oklahoma's favorite son, Will Rogers.